Okay, here we go. So the first thing you guys are going to look up is which wealthy English family of landowners founded the Maryland colony? Okay, so I want you guys to look up on your on your tabs on Google what wealthy English family of landowners founded the Maryland colony. Okay, was it the Chesapeake family, the Calvert, the Rose or the Howard family? And what you're going to do is you're going to put your answer in the group chat, but do not send it, okay? Only type or put the picture of your answer in the chat. And in one minute, I'm going to count down from 10 and we're going to send all our answers at the same time, okay? So this is what I like to call the waterfall game. You're going to find the answer, type it or, or um, paste the image and then we're all going to send it together at the same time, okay? So, guys, can you find that answer for me now? What English family founded the Maryland colony? And I want you to put your hands on your head when you found the answer. Okay, in 10 seconds, we're going to send our answers. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Send your answers. Oh, some people said D. Ah, B. <laughs> Good. It was the Wrong. Calvert family. Wrong. Good job. Okay, B. Guys, you only need to send it one time. Excellent. Well done. It was the Calvert family. Very good. Okay, number two. Can you read number two for me, Jessica? Number two, which reasons were there for the founding of Maryland? Okay, so what were the reasons for founding of Maryland? Was it that um, it was a refuge for Catholics to make money, to start a large mining operation, or both A and B? So a refuge and um, to make money. Okay, you have one minute to find the answer. Okay, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. What's the answer? Ooh. You're all saying C. Okay. Why do you guys think C? So this is a good example of why you shouldn't just copy other people's answers. Does anybody know what the actual answer is? Who can tell me? I don't, um, I'm not sure B, but I, I'm not sure C, but I don't, I don't know that my, my answer is correct. What was your answer, Jessica? D. Okay, so it was A, as a refuge for Catholics. For a refuge for Catholics, okay? So guys, you can Google the answers, just don't use Wikipedia. Okay, let's keep moving. What rights did the Taltarian Act give Maryland citizens? Sorry, what rights did the Toleration Act give Maryland citizens? Okay, so I want you to look it up, the answer. Was it the freedom of speech, religious freedom to all Christians, freedom of the press, or economic freedom? The Tol Tol Toleration Act. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. What was the answer? A, B, C, or D? Good. I see the right answer. Excellent. It was B. So when I looked up the answer, it said the Act of Parliament granting freedom of worship to nonconformists. OK, so. The Act of Parliament, Parliament are the people in the government and granting they are giving freedom of worship. So that means that people can practice their religion. Good work. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Can you read for me, please? Peter, number four. 
What two colonies were found in one thousand and seven hundred of seventeen twelve? Seventeen twelve. When one large colony was split in two. Okay. So what two colonies were founded? Founded means like created in 1712. Okay. So one colony was split into two. What one was that in 1712? Was it Virginia and Georgia, South and North Carolina, Maryland and Virginia, or Georgia and South Carolina? Okay. Ready? Ooh, we're not. No, no, no. I didn't tell you to put in the answers. <laughs> guys, guys, hello. Everybody, please stop. Okay. So you need, to, guys, we need to wait until we put the answers in. You have to wait for a minute or until I say go. Okay. Because this means that other people can cheat. We all have to put our answers in at the same time. You guys were correct. It is South Carolina and North Carolina, though. Well done. But please wait. Okay, can you read for me, Miley? Number five. Number five. Which southern colony was slavery or... Originally? Originally. Illegal. Illegal. Okay, so where was slavery illegal at the start? Was it Virginia, Maryland, Georgia, or South Carolina? Okay. Do not put your answer in the chat. You need to wait. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Everybody, it is, of course, what's, what colony? George. Georgia, good, Georgia, excellent. Okay, good work. The next one, can you read for me, please, Henry, number six. Which wealthy English leader wanted to send the Brettos to head on the new colony to Georgia? Good job. So which English leader wanted to send debtors Okay, so people who would go over and they would take the new colony of Georgia. Was it King Charles II, George Calvert, Cecilius Calvert, or James Algathorpe? Wealthy leader wanted to send debtors. Five, four, three, two, one. Send your answers. Ooh, don't just copy other people's answers. Don't copy other people's. Okay, who can tell me where they found the answer? Me. Okay, where did you find it? Uh, it is a King Charles II. King Charles II? Uh? Second. The second, okay. And how did you, how did you know? What did it say? Uh, I remember. You remembered? Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> good job. So the options were King Charles, George Calvert, Cecilius Calvert, or James Oglethrop. And what it says is that James Oglethrop was such a thinker. He and a group of charitable investors asked King George for permission to create a utopian experiment for English citizens imprisoned for debt. Okay, so was it, it was James Oglethorpe. The answer was actually James. He was, a, he was wealthy, but he was sent um, by King, King Charles. Okay, 